Oh, there he is. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm in wood, guys. I'm in wood. Oh, he's out. He's out. Good bass. Good bass. Oh, big spot again. Oh, and I probably got free of the big spot. Oh, he's hooked good though. Streamer fishing outdoors today. I've got a good show for you. Me and Pete, he's over here exploring this island. We're on an island in the middle of a North Carolina river. We caught some good fish this morning. I mean, some really good fish, a really big spotted bass, some other nice fish. I'll show you those. We've been throwing the whopper plopper along with the fluke. I um, caught the biggest one on the fluke. Um, but anyway, we're going to spoil the island. We got the Old Town 158. Um, there's a boat up there in the trees. I'll show you that. Um, I've already fished a couple hours, but this is the intro. Um, but let's get busy. Let's go to the fishing this morning, and I'll show you some nice fish. And I hope we were going to catch some nice fish on the way back. I'm going to throw the spinner bait and the fluke on the way back instead of the whopper plopper and the fluke. Fish on, oh, fish on. Oh, fish on, guys. Fish on, nice fish. Nice fish. We put anchor down. I'm not even ready. Nice fish. Guys, that's a nice spot. Guys, that's a really nice spot. It's not as big as the four pound spot I caught earlier this spring, but that's a nice spot. I've really just started catching spots in this river. Um, I don't know how long they've been in here, but I've been fishing this river a long time, but I've just started catching them. Let me get him in the water. All right, guys, we're gonna let him go, get him back in the water. He's good. He's good. Probably going to float down at least a mile, if not two miles, and then I'm going to paddle back. This current's not that swift in the spring. Oops. In the spring, you couldn't do that good paddling. The, the current is just too swift. But right now, the river's low, so I can paddle back easy really clear some nice chain pickerel in here too um, a lot of nice fish in this river this... I'm gonna tell you the fluke is killer in the river you need to always have a fluke on in a river during warm weather spring summer use it as a follow-up bait a follow-up bait to um, 
spinner bait, top water, if you get a hit and they miss it, throw that fluke right back in. When I come back upstream, I'm going to throw the spinner bait. Because I was just going to, this is early morning, I started off right after daylight. So that's why I'm throwing a top water. And I'm, I, oh, there he is. Oh, good fish. Oh, oh, he's wreaking havoc. Rick and have it. You can see him, guys. He's Top lip coming down. There we go. All right. Probably four pounds, guys. Pete, you want to see him? There he is, Pete. <laughs> All right, guys. He put it one heck of a fight. I'll give him that. Let's get him back in the water. He's good. There he goes. He darted off. Guy, the fish just busted behind me. Well, that sucked. Oh, there he is. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm in wood, guys. I'm in wood. Oh, he's out. He's out. Good bass. Good bass. Oh, big spot again. Oh, and I probably got afraid of a big spot. Oh, he's hooked good though. Big spot. Oh, don't come off. Don't come off. Woo! Big spot. Goodness, look at that spot. Guys, I'm paddling over here to the shade. Um, that's why in these rivers, you need heavy line. I'm using 30 pound braid, and I think this is 17 pound fluorocarbon leader. But that's why you need that heat. Had me under a log because I cast it over a log to get to him. All right, I think we're good. I just want to get out of that sun. Uh, All right, guys, that's a big spot right there. Man, that's a big spot. Okay, guys, I got out of the boat. We're going to get an underwater release on him. That's a good three, three and a half pound spot. Woo, guys, that was fun. He hit a fluke. I've caught everything this morning on a whopper plopper. But that I saw a fish hit up against some reeds. Um, it was behind some wood. So I knew I couldn't throw the whopper popper in there and pull it out of that wood. Um, 
the fluke I popped in there. First cast I didn't do too well. Second cast I popped it right in there. It hit it. Got me under some wood. Awesome fight. Gotta check my line. Um, let's get back busy see if we catch some more nice fish. Woo! Like that Pete. Pete likes it, buddy. Guys, I just floated almost over. Guys, I just almost floated over a big bow fin. I thought it was a carp coming up first. It was big. That's why you're in, if you're in the eastern Piedmont of North Carolina or eastern North Carolina, you need to carry fish grippers. Because anytime you're bass fishing, you're liable to catch a gar or a bow fin. Um, that was a big one right there. I thought it was a big old carp at first coming up on them. He got the hook. He wasn't big. Let me throw the fluke back in there. Now he probably wasn't even 12 inches. But he sure knocked the fire out of it. Alright guys, I had to come out of that sweatshirt after catching that big spot. Got some good pictures on it. Got a good release on it. She swim off good. Uh, it's getting hot now, like I said. I may have to put this top water away and go to a spinner bait or some kind of crank. We're gonna give this bubble pop a little bit more time. Here goes old train. Water's cooler than I thought. It's like 77 degrees. I've never had this knot come loose, break on me. Not once. It's a good knot. Maybe I'll show it to you one day. I've never seen it by tying this knot. It's kind of a knot that I've improved upon, especially for braid. Uh, anyway, that's what we're going to throw is a white buoy off spinner bait. Um, got into some good deeper water. There's a bend behind me. Um, picnic table right there washed up. There's a boat washed up up there from the hurricanes this river's been through. Uh, no telling. I'd like to come up on a nice John boat or kayak and get it back. But haven't seen one of those yet. But let's get busy throwing a spinner bait. I got the fluke to follow it up with. And hopefully I'll show you a fish in a second. The anchor in. Good thing about a spinner bait is you can actually steer. A lot of people don't know this or don't realize it once they've done it. You can actually steer your canoe down the bank with a spinner bait. Depending on where you put your rod tip how much drag that spinnerbait pulls, how big the blades are. They're all going to pull your canoe a little bit. See, I'm turning my boat right here where I want it right now. Work this bank. You can see, this is a nice bend right here. Deep hole. Oh, it's good. I just don't want to get a boat in on one of my favorite spinnerbaits. Okay guys, here's that boat. I took it from my other camera. Took the picture from my other camera coming down. Make sure my boat don't float away with Pete. There'll be two lost boats on this river. Anyway, there's the boat right there. It's got an 18 sticker on it. 
that tells me in 18, or at least part of 18, it was in the water and somebody's running it up and down this river, lake up above here, probably a lake up above here. It's NC8881. WN NC8881 WN I don't see no motor on it Somebody's probably already got the motor on it I'm about to lose Pete You can see it right there In late 18 or 19 um, Looks like it's been there a couple years I'll post it right there Probably what hurricane it was That got all it Several of them got all of Eastern North Carolina. So, somebody lost a boat right there. NC 8881 WN. And it was a good boat in 2018. Anyway, let's get back busy. Huge cypress tree, guys. There's some big knees right over here. That's a beast right there. You guys, I don't know how well you could tell that. That was a huge cypress tree. Um, the bottom end is covered up with vines. So you, um, I showed the tall, you know, a crown of it. But you probably can't tell it on video how really massive that tree is. Big cypress tree. That cypress tree is probably 800 years old or more. There's some here in North Carolina that are oldest trees on the East Coast, oldest in North America except for bristlecone pines. Some are over 2,000 years old. There's not on this river. But that, that, that tree right there is pushing 800 to 1,000 years. Hey guys, I haven't caught any fish down here, but I tell you, this is one of the most unique areas in the country. There's only a few spots in the southeast country where you'll find cypress trees growing around Rocky Rapids naturally. These are, well that's a sycamore right there, but these big trees behind this sycamore are bald cypress trees. We'll go down here and look at them. Right there you got one, two, three, four, five, whatever that was, that one that was broke off. Cypress trees growing naturally. So anyway, there's some upstream of here growing in rocky areas. Um, this is one of the most unique areas though in the southeast, um, especially North Carolina. These things have been through some heavy, heavy, heavy floods. And they haven't broke. This sycamore right here. All right, let's, let's get busy and see if we can catch some fish below these rabbits. I just don't want Pete to get bit by water markers because there are water markers in this here. Guys, we're going to get another. Another fruit on. Thank <laughs> you. 
there he is. Oh, nice bass. Nice bass. Nice bass. Nice bass, guys. I hope I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. Nice bass. Oh, don't jump. Don't jump. Oh, nice bass. Nice bass. Beach. Ah. Woo, nice bass, guys. We say Pete. Nice bass. We go back up here. All right, guys, that's a good three, three and a half pound bass. He's not four pounds, but he's at least three. Nice bass. I lost one. As soon as I got down there, there's a tree laying in the water. That current's pushing up under that tree a little bit. I lost one out in front of it, but that one come out from under that tree. Nice river bass right there. He's about the same size as that spot this morning. Nice river bass on the fluke. Pete. You like him, Pete? Let's get him back in the water. Let's see if we can get a good release on him. Nice river bass. Ah, oh, didn't bring my phone. I hope you can hear me. Sometimes we put the GoPro down in the water. It gets a little water in the entrance to the mic. Takes a little bit before we can hear me. Nice river bass. We're going to see if we can catch another one. Uh, let's get back there and see if we can skip one under that tree. Hopefully we'll get another fish. And then we'll head back. We got a good paddle back upstream through a couple of rabbits. So let's get busy. Good job, Pete. Is that my stick? Is that my stick? <laughs> That's my stick. Get to my stick. Get my stick, Pete. Make him go underwater. Get to my stick. That's my stick. Get my stick. That's my stick. That's my stick. That's my stick. He trolls it. There he is. Got another one. There he is. Got one. Nice bass, guys. Woo! Uh, uh. He got a spot on him right there. A nice bass. Peak no. It's all right. Nice bass, guys. That's another three pound bass right there. He's a good three pounds. Okay. Hey guys, move Pete, get over here. Right here. Come here. Guys, he's a good three pounds. Pete, come here. Get right here. Right here, stay right here. Stay. Stay. Stay right here. Guys, he's a good three pounds. Hit the flute from up under that tree. He may be two and three quarters. He's not quite as big as the other one. But he's right at three pounds. 
nice bass. Let's get him back in the water. Let's get him back in the water. Let's see what he does. See if he can make his way out. There he is. Keep going. Woo! All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna do the outro on here, this rock island where I did the intro. Um, great day on the water. Cost two really good largemouth, two really good spots. Um, caught some smaller ones as well. I may show you a couple of them. I mean, I didn't set the world on fire today, but I had an awesome time. Caught four really good quality fish, which is good. Um, awesome day get you some flukes i'm telling you river fishing i love a white spinner bait didn't catch none on white spinner bait today i love the zoom fluke that's my probably my two best lures in north carolina rivers is those two right there um so definitely get you some flukes booyah spinner bait beats down in the canoe we still got a good paddle back do me a favor guys hit my spotted bass playlist it's right there um, hit a subscribe button. Guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.